I was uh, anchoring uh, three uh, events during this uh, forum. The first was called uh, Team Energy Africa, and this is uh, an event that we did with uh, Sustainable Energy for All and the African Energy Chamber. And this is an, an ECA conceived initiative, which is about how do we get Africa's private sector to mobilize Africa's capital to invest in Africa's energy transformation. Uh, the challenge is that um, uh, over the last 10 years or so, uh, only 2% of the investments globally uh, in clean energy have been to Africa. And this is from a uh, private sector out of the continent. But that private sector comes to Africa demanding a high premium on the capital. And we believe that Africa can invest cheaper using Africa's capital, and that is why we launched Team Energy Africa. Uh, it was very successful, there's a lot of interest. It hasn't happened before, but there is a blueprint. The blueprint is that uh, Africa's private capital has been able to make a serious transformation in uh, mobile communications, in uh, uh, construction, uh, in banking, and we feel that it's about time that we mobilize the captains of industry in Africa to do the same in the energy space. Uh, the other event uh, which I anchored was um, the partnership and tools for uh, building resilience in investments in critical sectors in Africa. This is a, uh, an event that is focused around our initiative called the Africa Climate Resilient Investment Facility, an initiative of uh, the Economic Commission for Africa, the African Union Commission, uh, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and the Nordic Development Fund. We have developed a, a comprehensive training program that will be rolled out through our training institute in IDEP to uh, member states, to civil society, and indeed the private sector to look at how they understand climate resilience, how they can integrate climate resilience in critical sectors like water, energy, agriculture, transport, cities, ecosystems, uh, and also how to communicate uh, resilience. Uh, so this would also include training civil uh, society uh, people, training media people and training legislators uh, on these issues and then going into the technical uh, deep dives for uh, sector specialists. Again, it was a very uh, fruitful uh, uh, event with uh, a lot of participation, over 60 people, from uh, uh, strong contributions from all our partners and also the Global Center on Adaptation. There's a lot of synergy to be made uh, in this area. And last but not the least, was another very important event uh, that we I anchored in partnership with the Climate Policy Laboratory of the Fletcher School of Tufts University. And uh, this event was focusing on the need for partnership, research partnerships to support uh, the SDGs, implementation of the SDGs. Uh, this was basically based on um, our Climate Research for Development program, where we see that in the Intergovernmental Panel uh, for Climate Change uh, processes, very little research is reflected from Africa because there is not much. So how can we partner to get more research in Africa, leveraging uh, other research initiatives globally and regionally so that uh, uh, climate can be better is understood with implementation of uh, the SDGs. Again, it was a very successful event with our colleagues at uh, Tufts University, uh, the Fletcher School, and uh, we look forward to building forward uh, for the next steps um, towards this event. And indeed, let me just say that for the Team Energy uh, event that I, I first talked about, uh, we will now be doing the high-level uh, launch, including at the presidential level here in Kigali in May during the Sustainable Energy for All uh, Forum that will be taking place. But in the meantime, we will be building up, and beyond May, we will be building up for a strong African presence at COP27 in Egypt. <music>